but I can, I can definitely say that this will happen. There's going to be an amplification of the heart energy. There's going to be an amplification of getting into feeling and less of thinking. Right? New York City is all thinking. That's why they planted ginkgo trees down there. People keep people from losing their minds. <laughs> right? Because ginkgo is all about the brain. You know, getting the brain. by loba. Two lobes. Right? By, you know, two lobes of the brain. So now we're kind of moving to the point where we're getting into our heart more. And you've seen it, like especially after the 9-11, you'd actually talk to people on the street and they'd talk to you. <laughs> Changed around. I mean, I was one time standing on a street corner and this woman starts talking to me. I find out, we had this great conversation. It turns out she's a supermodel. And I, this is after 9-11. I was like, you know, this is like in Soho. You know, I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, normally it's just like, don't see you, don't talk to me, you know. Changing the heart energy, getting more into feeling. And that's really what raw living foods, superfoods, and herbs do to you. That is the effect of it. The effect of it is, you know, instead of like, you mean I have to have 3.141592653589 milligrams of calcium at noon? What's that? Mine. Here's feeling. I feel like I want to have a cacao smoothie tonight. Woohoo! Cacao. And then why the whole cacao revolution now? I mean, 20 years ago, you go to somebody and say, you know, chocolate's good for you. They go, no, 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 it's, way, it's, it's got this, that, it can't be, it's not a health food. Can you see the flip on how that flipped around? It's all part of this as well. Okay, now, do we have fun yet? Yes. <laughs> One of the great things about Elements for Life and what Chad and, and Adam have really created here in the structure of all this is getting all of this stuff at wholesale. And then you write the whole thing off as a business expense. You with me on this? Business models of the future. No matter what you do with this, you're going to get the stuff anyway. You go, you come to a seminar. I mean, Jim Quick, he's been to my seminar for 10 years. He admitted to me today, he's like, Dude, every time I come to your seminars, I buy four or five hundred dollars worth of stuff. <laughs> I hope you do that later this week. That'd be great. Uh, but what? What? You're, I know you're going to do it anyway. You'll be in a health food store. You'll go. You'll buy goji berries. You'll buy cacao. You'll, you're going to do that anyway. But what we want to do is we want to wrap it around into a business opportunity for you, where even if you don't ever sell anything, at least you can write the whole thing off on your taxes mm -hmm. and get the free education that comes along with it. You know, I was, I'm so into like that part of success technology of getting the downloads of like, I need the greatest thinkers in the world and I need their information MP3 file right now or I need to be on a call, phone call with them. You know, I just want to tell you a personal story that happened to me two weeks ago. And that is for 15 years, I got into a, a, a marketing company years ago, 15 years ago actually, and what I got out of it was uh, Mark Victor Hansen's whole tapes, all everything. You know, chicken soup for the soul guy? Yeah. yeah. Should have been cacao smoothies for the soul, but that was back then, right? And so I listened to that stuff. And just really, and I'm listening to all that stuff. Napoleon Hill, Earl Nightingale. I'm a student of that stuff. I know Tony Robbins personally. I've known him for 25 years. I knew him since I was 14 years old. Met him at a summer camp in 1984. 24 years. And I'm so into that stuff. And here's what ha here's the inevitable result of all that. All of a sudden, I'm doing an event for Mark Victor Hansen. And then I'm watching him, and he's introducing me. I thought, wow, that's interesting. That's interesting. Here's one of the most successful guys in American history, really. I mean, they're, they're going to say, their, their goal is to sell a billion copies of the Chicken Soup for the Soul books. A billion copies. And they're getting closer. I mean, that's an impossible task. It's an impossible feat. And then he, and I'm watching this guy introduce me. Why? Because I heard him say one time, who, I, somebody asked him, who's the smartest, how do you tell who's the smartest people in, in the room? Like, who, who, do you, who can you tell, like, who you should partner with and stuff in the room? He said, oh, the people who buy all my stuff. And I said, is that his ego? What? What did he say? You know, I'd rewound that part a bunch of times. And I thought, no, 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 he's speaking the truth. So from that point on, I, when I go to his seminars, I buy everything. <laughs> Tony Robbins seminar, I'd spend the most money. I'd save up all my money, $1,500, I'd, I'd buy it all, everything. It's interesting, because look at the result. It's just a way we're investing our money, right? You invest money into yourself, that's nutrition. You invest money into yourself, that's education. 
you invest money into yourself, and all of a sudden it multiplies out hundreds of times and affects millions of people. People pay rent, don't even think about it. It's gone. The money's gone away. You know, People buy food in a store, the money's gone away. What about putting some equity into yourself? Back into yourself. And that's what we're talking about here, putting some equity into yourself. And the very least you can do is you might write the whole thing off as a business expense. Who wants to pay more taxes? <laughs> oh, man. You, you, the IRS, they held $60,000 for me. And I finally got it back. Man, I was so happy. I was like struggling. I was like, oh my God, you know? And that went on for eight months. That went on for eight months. I finally got the money back. Who wants to be, do you want to be in that position? Absolutely not, never, right? So we've got to get smart in the way that we approach our life. We've got to get smart in the way we pay rent. We write off a portion as a business expense. We have to have a legitimate business to do that. All right, you ready for questions and answers? Who's ready to have a good time tonight? All right, take a deep breath.